find yourself a block or a blanket and you're going to sit on it. So I have a block. Uh, maybe if you don't have a block, grab the blanket and sit on it. So we're going to do neck release, neck and shoulders release. And also I want to show you a little massage. So how you can help yourself just to release a little bit more muscles around muscles which goes from the base of the neck to your shoulders. So just around your neck a little bit more. So make yourself comfortable, sit comfortably with your knees lower than the hips. Okay. And then take one hand, for example, take your left hand to your right shoulder and find, find the muscles which run from the base of the neck to your shoulder. So this is the muscles. And we're going to just start to gently massage it. So just gently massage it. Okay. Maybe even go a little bit more back to your shoulder blade if you can reach. Okay. And just give a massage. Just nice gentle massage. Sometimes we get too tense around the neck. And if you have headaches, so this is a lovely way to start to bring more blood circulation to you your head so just releasing the muscles on the shoulders muscles which run from the base of the neck to your shoulder blades to your shoulder joints let's just find all this flesh and if you find somewhere point where you feel like yeah this is a little bit painful you stop on that point and just spend a little bit more time on that point so massaging in circular directions okay. just give yourself lovely a gentle massage and maybe even support this elbow with your hand okay nice okay and then change take another hand okay maybe support your elbow if you need okay. or just relax your hand and find again all the tension and again if you find this very painful point stop on that point and just give yourself a little bit deeper massage there So this is good to release tension and to bring more blood circulation to your brain. Well done. Okay, nice self care, nice self care massage. Brilliant. And just shake your hands, shake your arms. Roll your shoulders, just give him them a little bit of more movements. Okay, we worked hard today with the shoulders. Okay, well done. And we do a little bit more movements with the neck. Okay, sitting tall, draw your chin in like you're trying to do the double chin. Lengthen upwards with the crown of the head and then look over your right shoulder. Take a couple of deep breaths there, keep the length. And checking this left shoulder, not moving forward. So we want to keep the shoulder blades flat on the upper back. And then come back to the middle. Again, a little bit of double chin, stretch up, looking over the left shoulder. Checking shoulder blades flat on your upper back. And then come back, again, double chin. Again, looking over the right shoulder. And now looking into the corner of the right eye. So we're trying to look a little bit more behind. And again, checking shoulder blades, flat on the upper back. And the movements can be very small. Don't worry about big movements. Then come back. Again, elongate your neck. Look over your left. And looking into the corner of the left eye. So I'm trying to look a little bit more behind. That's great. Good, deep stretch. And then come back. Well done. Again, elongate your neck, right ear to your right shoulder. Exhale. Nice and easy. Trying to relax both sides of the neck. Soften, soften, soften. Come back. Chin in. Left ear to your left shoulder. Again, softening, relaxing both sides of the neck. Inhale, come back. Chin in. Crown of the head reaching upwards. And again, right here to your right shoulder, soften. Letting go of all the unnecessary tension. 
come back, chin in, left ear to your left shoulder, couple of deep breaths. Inhale, come back, chin in. So now thinking about if you saw the dog watching at people, sometimes dogs do this. They just lift the chin up. So this is what we're going to try to do. We're trying to pin the nose. We're not going to move the nose. We're just going to move the head. So let's try that. A couple of times, one direction. And then come back to the middle. Take your chin to the other direction, like you're turning your whole head around the pinpoint nose. Come back and again to one side. Have a good stretch. Breathe. Come back to the other side. And if you find any tension, just breathe into that tension. Exhale and soften. Inhale and come back. Brilliant. Roll your shoulders again. Roll your shoulders. Nice. Okay, we're going to roll head now from shoulder to shoulder, like so, just in front of the body. Looking to one side, in front of the body, looking to the other side. So let's do this a few times. Nice and easy. Again, checking how you feel. One side, another side. And then try to harm your neck or your head on your neck. Just soften. Let go. Let's do another round to each side. Hold on and then come back and again roll your shoulders, interlace your fingers, have a good stretch upwards. Stretch and wiggle from side to side. Okay, that's great. Well done, everyone. Lovely. And then sit comfortably and watch me for relaxation. If you would like to stretch into your, into your supported fish pose, I'll show you options. But don't worry, if you don't like this fish pose, if it's too much for your shoulders or your neck, you can just lie down on the floor in Shavasana. So the fish pose, you might need to use I'll show you an easier option with the blanket. Blanket first. So I've got this prop, props ready to show you of options. So you might have a bolster at home. So the easier option, you go on your blanket. So you roll the blanket like so, and you lie down with your back. So you have nice and gentle lift here. So and this is nice, especially if you're not sure what to do. This is quite nice. You're sitting next to the blanket, blanket for your shoulders, for your head and you take your arms to the sides. Super easy, very nice and relaxing. So if you want to go a little, to a little bit more advanced options, so then you go like so, you support, you need a pillow for your head, you need a block or the brick for your shoulder blades. And this goes a little bit higher, so you have shoulder blades rested on the block, head maybe on the floor or on the blanket, and then you relax here. So this is a little bit high, little bit more height for you. Okay, another variation, another option using the, the bolster. So the bolster is quite high, so if you're not used to be on so much height, maybe you should start with the blanket. So I'll show you anyway, a couple of options here on the bolster. This way, when you're nicely supported here, the head and shoulders, upper, upper back definitely, here opened and then you take your arms to the sides. This is one of the variations. Another option, moving the bolster this way. This is a little bit more advanced, where you might need a support for your head. So you're taking shoulder, shoulder blades and then head, maybe on the floor or on the cushion or bring the blanket there and you take your arms to the sides. So this is a little bit more, I love this variation. But make sure that your neck is happy with what you do. Okay. So please do choose all the options for you available. Okay, or the block. Sometimes I like just bringing the brick like so. I'll show you again another variation. And you take your hand back. And you take your arms to the sides. 
obviously if your neck is not happy you bring another block here or you or the cushion for your head and then relax so make yourself comfortable so you can relax like so for a few minutes. So, okay, relax, lie down, open your chest center or your heart center. Use whatever you need. Blocks, bolsters, blanket, roll the blanket, black bolster and get yourself ready. Okay, and when you're ready, just check with your whole body, how you feel. Is your neck okay? Do you need more support for your neck? Maybe you need extra blanket or extra cushion for your head to keep your neck comfortable. The chest is open, your heart center is open, arms away from your body, palms facing upwards. Make yourself comfortable. Just check the whole body. Mentally scan your whole body from the crown of the head to the tips of your toes. And take a few deep breaths, softening, relaxing into the support beneath you. And imagine breathing through your heart center. The inhalation flows into the heart. The exhalation flows out of the heart. With each breath, bringing your awareness deeper into the heart space. With your attention, explore the space inside your heart, noticing all the emotions and feelings. The inhalation flows into the heart, the exhalation flows out of the heart. And now visualize a person who for you symbolizes unconditional love and acceptance. It can be a loved one, it can be a spiritual figure, or just focusing on the pure energy of love and compassion. And you start to focus upon the feeling of love in your heart. The inhalation flows into the heart. The exhalation flows out of the heart. And feel the energy of the heart move through you rhythmically, like waves of the ocean, moving through your entire body and out into the universe, the energy of love, compassion and acceptance. And now allow this heart energy to radiate out and feeling out every part of the body, reaching out to every part of the body to every cell of the body until you feel that your inner body has been expanded and full of the energy of your heart. The energy of love, acceptance, compassion to your whole body. Now allow this energy to radiate out of you. At this time, allow your inner light to radiate out to every direction. At this point, if you have a thought or a blessing you wish to send out into the world, then do so and let it touch and bless all. For example, May all beings be well. May all beings be happy and free from suffering. May all beings be well. 
May all beings be happy and free from suffering. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy and free from suffering. Allowing your inner light to reach to every part of the universe. Let it reach and touch and bless all with your loving energy. Now, as your meditation comes to the end, bring your awareness back to your surroundings, back to your whole body, back to your own heart center. Deepen your breath, lengthen inhalations, exhalations, reawakening the energy in your body. Bring awareness back to your friends, to your family, to your pets next to you. And then make little movements. Wriggle your toes, wriggle your fingers, slide your legs together, arms by the side of your body. Inhale and stretch, take your arms over your head. Flex your feet and stretch away from the waistline. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then carefully roll over to your side. Just bend your knees and carefully roll over to your side. And then sit comfortably. And we're going to close the class. Bring your hands in Anjana Mudra. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Then slightly lean back just to feel strong support of your back muscles. Support steadiness of the universe. Reflect your practice. Reflect your intention of the practice. Notice how you feel. Enjoy extra strength, flexibility, and clarity of mind. Wishing yourself health, happiness, and freedom from suffering. We finish with one gentle OM. Exhale first. Inhale. Oh. Bow your head to your heart, to the light within you, and open your eyes. Well done, everyone. Thank you very much. Namaste. And have a lovely day.